hello hello and welcome to another video this is my third second or third video today 100 certifications um this is my second or third video i think it's like second but it very well might be it might be the third um i have so much to say that i don't even know we're just gonna sit and chill i did have so the first video i made and excuse me my kids are here so kennedy might be loud um there's a lot going on. There's a lot of things that I want to put in this video. I don't know how I'm going to make this video for you guys. I might chop up all the clips that I had this morning and put them in here, but I kind of want to have like in a very informal conversation to start our year. And I say start our year. Look, Kenny. Kenny, you're talking too loud. I can't even hear myself talk. You're too loud in my video. Okay, you, thank you. You can play, but please lower your voice. Again, I say, hello, hello, and welcome to another video. Um, welcome to 2024. If you're seeing this, the Lord has spared our lives, honey, and I am grateful for it. However, we're going to jump straight into this year. Um, let's, I have so much that I want to talk about, but I don't really know. I don't know how I want to package this information, so please bear with me. I guess the first thing we can talk about is the website. That's what we're going to talk about. So the website has been so many things. So many things has gone on through the year on the website. I did some calculations, honey, and I think I spent a little over, we spent a little over probably $1,200 to keep between my site running, um, my email running and all these little things that, you know, the pick monk and all that kind of stuff. It's been a lot of money. I said 12, but it's probably more like $2,000. If I'm really honest with you, I only did some of the calculations for tax purposes and it was a lot of money. Look, there's a delivery of some sort. I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's been a lot of money. I said all that to say, I don't make a lot of money. I, I'm going to go ahead and say I don't make no money. If you ask my husband, honey, no money is being made from the things that I do. However, I'm not going to stop doing them. However, I'm actually ramping up the amount of free things that you can get on the website because this is the work that the Lord has called me to. And I realized the moment you t you spend it on how much money can I make, you fall in the same pool that you see all these other people fall in line with and I won't have any parts in it. Okay. I mean, no parts. So a lot more things are free. I still have the gift shop so you can still, you know, buy stuff on there, diamond paints and all that kind of stuff. I'm not pretending as though any of those things have anything to do with the ministry work that the Lord has called me to do. And when I say ministry, it's really just teaching you um, the stuff that he has taught me. That's what I mean. Um, so, like I said, there's still the gift shop portion of it. Let me actually go to the website here and you got to excuse my nose because it's cold in here and there's that. So I had, I've started a tab. Like I said, we're just chilling out. So we're just chatting in this video. I want to talk to you about a lot of things. And um, I just know the Holy Spirit is going to help me out. Cause like I said, I started this video like two times with a bunch of different information, different bullet points. And I really just want you to hear me. And I want you to really, um, I want to activate you with this video. So the second thing I have is a discipleship tab. Now, um, I want you to go on there. I want you to read it. There's a bunch of stuff on there. If you're new to the faith, if, just, if you're just new to the space, go ahead and take a look at some things. There's free growth tools on there. Now, one of the biggest things that I wanted to talk to you about as far as growth, um, and I did make a video for you. Like I said, I don't know how I'm going to squeeze all this together. If you see like pausing and then me showing you the other clips, then I guess I'll do that. Um, fasting, not a lot of people have implemented the practice, um, the discipline, if you will, of fasting into their lives and they claim to be believers. I have a plan for you on there. I worked on this morning, days one through three. These are all notes that I already had because I actually did this fast myself along with someone else. And um, the person, the other person had never fasted before. So I said, you know what? I can put all this together because 
maybe a person watching has never fasted before and someone else is trying to sell you this information. And instead of me, you know, going along with the people trying to sell you this information, I'm just going to go ahead and give it to you for free. There was a portion of the fast on there. I think it was like $2. The Holy Spirit just like, why is it $2? Okay. Why is it $2? I had to pay $12. I believe it was the book that I used the first fast that I ever went on. The church sold it to me for $12 and it was the best $12 I ever spent. However, I'm going to go ahead and give it to to you for free because at this point you're behind okay that was what 10 plus years ago at this point you're behind and you need to speed it up and if two dollars or twelve dollars is going to come in between you getting the information and not i'm not going to be a part of you not having information because you don't have the money so i'm going to put the this is the information that i know this is what i have gotten this is the revelation that the lord has given me you say what it would you do with it what you please it's biblical. You have a lot of scriptures in there. Like I said, I have for you as of today, when you see this video, you'll see days, you'll see like the plan and then you'll get days one through three work with me. Okay. I will try to get the days out in three increments. So if you start the fast, like let's say you started tomorrow, by the time you're on day three, you'll have the other days of the fast. That's how I'm going to do it. It is free. So it's like me doing a job that I'm not getting paid for. And that's, that's okay. Okay. Um, girl, hold on. Let me get a tissue. You can actually still hear me, but hold on. All right. I got a tissue because I know some of y'all think that's nasty with me wiping my hand, my nose on my sleeve. But anyway, so, um, that's the portion of there. The free growth tools will have things like that on there and they're free. Okay. So your only excuse is that you're simply lazy and I really can't do anything with it. Like there's nothing that I can do aside from of giving it to you for free and then coming there and literally reading it to you on your bedside like what do you want me to do at this point um but i'm not going to hold the information from you just because you can't pay for it um free bible study tools i mean you can study your own bible some people like like the plans you know like the bible app has like those little plans and things like that those are good growth tools those are that's a good way to learn how to get into the scripture for yourself. But I would say there is a point where you have to come to where you just like want to read the scriptures for yourself and you go in there and you open up the Bible for yourself and the Bible begins to like come alive, so to speak to you. There's a point of time where you move away from plans and you get to like the principles and the truth that is in the text. I realize that if you haven't been reading the Bible, you're not there yet. And that's OK. So I do have for you like just little Bible study tools. And you need to take into account that when you read these things, you're reading, um, you're reading how I saw the text, but I will tell you every time you look at the text, most of the time you see something different. So if you're not seeing something that I'm seeing and vice versa, that's not saying that we're not seeing the right thing. That's just saying that we're seeing something different. The Holy spirit is revealing to us a different side of what's going on in front of us. You know what I mean? And I want you to take that into account as you read those, um, as you use those Bible study tools. The next thing I have on there is short stories. Now, I have for you a really a bunch of short stories. Okay. These I'm, I'm just going to pause and tell you this. So I have been working on things like this to workshops and just little things since about 20, 2016. And I kind of got tripped up a little bit. Um, without going into detail, someone told me something very foul and very nasty, like a while ago and kind of broadcasted girl on Snapchat where I was, doing what I knew to be the Lord's work, doing, having little conversations like this, just told me something very nasty. Like, I think I'm a pastor and all this kind of, and I really, I didn't at the time and I don't now. Um, but that's what, girl, it's distracting. That's what the person said. And it kind of took me off course. So I stopped all the plans and things like that. I would never, I would never want that to happen to anyone, but it definitely took me off course. So here I am kind of picking up, so to speak, where I left off. And there's a lot of things that I left off. There's a lot of things that I have written down that the Lord told me to, to, um, to give to other people. And I have not given it to other people. One, because I really see when I write, when I write, it is very elaborate, but I'm not like, um, you know, I'm not like some kind of grammar expert expert. So all of the, you know, I know a lot of words, but that doesn't mean I know how to spell all the words like, you know, things like that. Well, none of that 
going into this season of life is going to stop me from putting forth what the Lord says put forth. But at one point in time, it did. OK, so there's a lot that needs to be produced really to help people who are just like you and who are just like me, who just simply stuck. OK, a lot of the things that I've come into knowledge of is because the Lord has revealed them to me via dreams. And otherwise, I've kind of watched a lot of things that I dreamed of, literally dreamed of, literally had dreams and visions of come to life um, throughout the years. And I just kind of sit back with my own phone like, oh, the Lord showed me that that will happen. So here we are. Um, a lot of those short stories, a lot of the short stories that I have will be based off of those kind of principles, things that the Lord showed me. And then they kind of came to pass. So I see them working out. There's one that is really big that I'm working on. And to be honest with you, it's so much of my business. It's so it's so um, even painful that it's just taking me some time to get it all out. That's all. I have one called Release Your Inner Ballerina that will leave you wanting more for those of you who have already purchased it i'm going to leave it for two dollars on the website simply because some of you have already purchased it and i don't want you to feel like you got ripped off because somebody else is going to get it for free okay so i'm going to leave it at two dollars um however that's a story that leaves you wanting the other pieces of the story or i want to tell you that the other pieces of the story are in the story that i've been working on so it's like the other part of the release of inner ballerina especially if you got to that import the end part where I was like walking into the church and I smelled this smell. There are there are spiritual principles and things that will become real to you as you read the other stories. Things like that I probably will keep um, paid because they're not necessarily um, they're not stuff you can get for free, like Bible truths and things of that nature. They're it's like revealed knowledge. You know what I mean? I don't know. I was just. I'm going to allow the Lord to really guide me as far as um, making stuff free and otherwise, because at first I saw it off of five dollars. And let me tell you that the Lord beat me down. OK, five dollars, baby. There was a point in time when you couldn't you didn't even have five dollars. OK, now you're charging somebody five dollars for information I gave you free. He got me all the way together. So, like I said, a lot of the things are free because I refuse to be one of those people who sitting here just trying to make like, girl, what? Who cares if you make money and you just. You just riding. You riding. Okay. So, um, Kimmy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Bye now. Bye. So the next story that I have on there, which is in the short stories, which used to be $2, but I have made it free is keep your oil burning and keep your oil burning was actually a dream. And it's now available on the blog portion of this website, which we'll get to in a second. I think I'm actually going to read something for you, um, from there. The next thing I have is the helping hand tab. Now I have had this helping hands tab. That's where I put the free toys. Um, that's where I put the free toys that people were able to sign up and to get the toys sent to their house. Let me tell you, I think I already told you, but I'm going to go ahead and say it again, which is why I have changed the way that I do things because people are simply just ugly, just ugly. When I say ugly, I mean, just rude, just nasty, just do things evil intentionally I actually went on there and had me purchase two toys and get them sent to a wrong address, taking away from other people who could have actually participated in getting the toys for their children for the holidays. So I realize that some of you guys, even who are watching me, some of you guys who say that you support me, some of you guys who visit the website and do things like that. Um, you just simply have evil intentions and I'm going to allow you to keep on doing what you're doing and God to to do with you what he wished to do with you but I am not going to stop doing the work that he's called me to do because there are people like you who exist the one thing that I will do to get around that is things will be free <laughs> things will be free imagine thinking you're going to do something and, and the girl turned around and made the stuff free so the helping hand tab I have yet I made a video for you I'll link it I have yet to get anyone who wanted to share their story who was in need of money which is the craziest thing ever like no one wants to share their story no one considers themselves poor and wants to be given to y'all not giving the money to me like I said I mentioned all of that in that video all of the guidelines and stuff is actually here on the website it's literally just a portion of the website that I said hey you need money and we're gonna give money to you myself included and nobody um nobody signed up for it so there's that let's go to the blog portion which is 
this is new and like i said this is very much outside of my normal zone of comfort be comfort because i like to talk like um i think that i can exp i like to express myself using words i talk a lot as you guys can see um but i also like to write and just because that writing isn't traditional or um, maybe doesn't make sense to some people maybe people don't like the grammar the punctuation all that kind of stuff I still like to write and I'm not going to not write because some people don't like it so um, this is free stuff like I said some of them are just conversations I'm going to read for you um, this is called my children and the Lord literally woke me up it was I have it here 12 30 a.m on 12 27 23 and literally spoke this to me while I lay there in the bed like what is going on um, let me read it to you look at what you've done to my children look how you've caused them to care less of right from wrong Look at how you've raped and molested them, robbing them of their purity, causing them a lifetime of pain. Look, you mothers and fathers, how you've allowed this because of your own selfishness. Look at how you've defiled their fragile bodies. Look at how you've caused my creation to cause me pain. Father, forgive us. Father, forgive me. Father, forgive America. Father, forgive the mothers and fathers who walked away from their duties to follow their own lustful desires. Father, forgive me for being that woman. Father, forgive the women who aborted their children for their own convenience. Father, forgive the women who sacrificed their children's well-being for their own lustful gain. Father, forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive this wretched, sinful nation. Father, forgive us for saying it's okay to choose and reassign genders that you hold precious, genders that you created as a beautiful expression of yourself in the earth. Forgive us for playing God, for, for thinking that we and our finite wisdom is anything in comparison to your all-knowing glory. Father, forgive us for what we've done. Forgive us for leading our children, leaving our children in the hands of schools and daycares that act as pimps and prostitutes the children to the children that you see as precious. Forgive me, Lord, for being that person. Schools that treat their minds like nothing more than computers that need programming to fit the gross agenda and destruction of their precious lives. Forgive us for seeing dollar signs instead of a precious soul that should be protected and nurtured until it's capable of choosing you for itself. Forgive us for removing prayer from schools to satisfy races and those who are in clear rebellion against you. Father, show us mercy. Father, look upon us with mercy. We repent. We see that what we've done is wrong. We have led a nation into corruption. That corruption has gone into our hearts and made its way into our homes. Father, have mercy. Help us turn. Help us change. We repent. Father, forgive us for making jokes and taking light the things that you say is sacred, like sex between a man and woman. Forgive us for watching programming that program us to believe that our bodies belong to us and that we could do whatever we wanted with them. We could mark them with tattoos and pierce them with needles for adornment and idolatry father forgive us forgive us for programming our children to believe the same forgive us for masturbating and defiling your temple for evoking your wrath upon mankind upon america father forgive us show us mercy the end time army is being assembled if you missed the message and subsequently missed formation, you had best get on your face. Your face means complete humility. Tell the Lord you are so caught up in your agenda that you forgot that he is Lord of all. I'll tell you that the hardest thing about formation is learning the signals, be they verbal or otherwise, that you are in sync with everyone else. This keeps you safe. The end time army is being assembled while you argue on trivial matters. End time army. The end time army is being assembled while you argue on trivial matters like what eye cream works best for black people. The end time army is being assembled while you degrade the sales rep at your favorite luxury store simply for being a different skin color than you. The end time army is being assembled while you sit in the same church you set in for for 10 years learning nothing and growing in nothing aside from your bitterness towards God who has tolerated your lazy Christianity all this time. The end time army is being assembled as you giggle your way into the next day and 
intoxicated with drugs and alcohol, while you lay on tables of ruthless doctors who see dollar signs as you come frolicking through the door, while you consult these physicians as if they're all knowing without even parting your lips to the God who gave those lips to you while these doctors prescribe you medications that send you into hellish tr hellish transes while you ignore the eternal destination of hell that awaits you who refuse repentance the end time army is being assembled while you debate over politics and policies that care less about your very existence the end time army is being assembled being assembled while you lay on your stomach gazing Gazing at your backside and how you wish it will grow so you can blow up why your soul rots under the weight of your delusions at the same time you alter every piece of your body that will return to the dust as you depart this life and into eternity you need to read your orders and get into formation Father, forgive us for being idolaters and worshipers of everything and everyone outside of you. Father, forgive us. Have mercy on us. Wash us with your blood. Cleanse us of the grave sins that have captured and captivated our nation. Let it start in our homes. Let it start with us. And child, you, I just heard it again as I read it out loud to you. And it hit me literally it woke me up it hit me and this is the type of stuff like how how can I sell that why would I sell that why would I sell that so the stuff on the blog was be will, will be free my other story is on there as well it's called keep your oil burning I woke up from that dream in tears and literally could not stop writing out the dream until it was done the way that the Lord gave it to me. It, I didn't do anything. I literally got from the bed and got on the floor and started to write it out. So it is just as it is. And that that story is filled with revelation if you would hear it and if you would read it, um, if you would read it with your ears, if you know what I mean, if you could actually hear it. So I just want to share that with you. Like I said, I think I might mix up a few things and from from the videos that I did today, I really don't have I don't have anything to really talk about outside from the fact that I want you to be serious um, outside from the fact that things are getting crazy. People are getting crazy. I had a lady tell me the other day, like literally to my face that she was a witch. Um, and I, I love that for her. I love that for me and I'm glad that she was bold for her you know what I mean um and I don't say that to be disrespectful anyway I'm I'm the fact that people are so blatantly bold but you're not blatantly bold in the things that you do you're not blatantly bold in the fact that you follow Christ is it's a total red flag but you can't be bold because you're afraid and you need to be afraid when you haven't taken the Lord seriously all this time but I'm telling you that the people are bold the people are bold. They're being bold. They're being bold. And I have a few other things that I want to talk to you about, but I don't know if I, you know, they're, they're not important. The only thing is important is I want you to know that it's time for you to get serious. If you spent this holiday uh, buying stuff, just ripping and racing and running into the stores and eat, you just... Yo, now, hopefully the guy outside cutting grass don't let the devil use him. Come over here making all this noise while I'm trying to make this video. So this morning, I actually had another video for you guys. Well, I had some bullet points and I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things that really have been bothering me for quite some time. Um, so they're not new points. They're just kind of reiterated points. And while I was making that video for you, I realized that some people have just never gotten sound information for whatever reason and instead of being so harsh with you i am going to treat you like i would have wanted someone to treat me when i simply just didn't know any better so forgive me okay you didn't even know what i came over here telling you but i'm about to i i just have this for you so Say thank you, Jesus. Okay, don't say nothing to me. Say thank you, Jesus. Message of a flower for you and all the endless possibilities for the um, 
um, life of disobedience that you continue to live and you think that God is so gracious and God is so merciful and he cares so much about you that he wouldn't dare um, stop you in your tracks from living the life that you're going to live. Those are not the kind of messages that we're going to have here in 2024. And as you can see at the end of last year, it's really not the kind of message. It's never really the kind of messages that we had here. So first I want to say this, if you spend um, Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's doing things other than um, giving thanks, giving praise, giving worship to the God who really spared your life after all the stuff that you have been doing. You're not walking in the anointing that lets you know what time and season it is. And because of that, it's going to be very hard for you to understand these messages going forward. Okay. That it's a car anointing. I mean that you're aware, like I said, of the time and the season and you know what it is that you ought to do. And some of you have been walking in this anointing and not even knowing that it was an anointing. OK, have you ever let's take, um, you know, our recent pandemic um for an example, a lot of you guys were moving out of homes. A lot of you were switching jobs and you really didn't know why the Lord was causing you to do some of these things. Um, you were operating in the Issachar anointing. Have you ever moved out of a position just right before the downfall in said position? You were operating in the Issachar anointing. Have you ever separated yourself from your family because you knew they was doing some foul stuff that wouldn't lead you to doing anything any good? with your life and then you turn back around and you saw man god you were right you are operating in the iscar anointing those are the people that i want to talk to because you understand at least to some extent because when you got the push you move that there's a time and a season to operate there's a time and a season to know what you ought to do and let me tell you if you spent this time and this season um buying gifts and just doing complete and other foolishness you're operating in a space of error and if I was you I would quickly correct it while you can um, and that's kind of how I want to open this up I want to open this up by saying the time is really going by very rapidly and what do I mean by that I mean the the time in which God says to do something and it needs to get done is moving um, more swiftly than it did before. Tanzania gave me an example. I can think of a time, and like I said, this is, this is not about me, I'm just giving you examples here. That let's say I would have a dream and the dream, it would go by a span of like a year or maybe even two years and the dream would not take place. Even though I felt a very strong push that God was showing me this information, it wasn't information that I was asking for, it was just, information okay it would take like a year or two for that thing to come to pass honey there's been a dream on friday and i seen it happen on monday there's been a dream on monday and i see it happen on monday night okay so the time is changed the time is moving swiftly and I want you to go into this new season, into this new year with that realization that you don't have all day to get it right. You, you can't keep playing around. Let me close this because my neighbor is going to try to distract me. You can't keep playing around with the Lord. I mean, I made other videos for you. Your, if your sin hasn't become disgusting to you and you're still doing things that you know to be sinful, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know what to say to you. I do not know what to say to you. I saw a few um, commentary on a few sermons because I dare not sit down and watch those sermons myself. And I just couldn't believe some of the things that I was seeing in the pulpit um, for New Year's. All in the name of a celebration for the Lord, all in the name of being grateful to be brought into the new year. I don't know what it's in the name of, but it's not in the name of Jesus. And therefore, we have a problem. But a lot of you, and I, this was laid on my heart last night before I went to bed, a lot of people, and, and you might not admit that you are this person, but be honest with yourself before you even open your mouth to try to be honest with anybody else. You don't even open your Bible. You, do, you wouldn't know truth from a lie if it smacked you in your face. You're one of those people talking about, think you're talking about right from wrong, and you don't even know what the word says about what it is that you're opening your mouth talking about. The only, I'm not talking about your pastor sitting here on the pulpit, on the 
in the in the pulpit reading to you scriptures and you think that that is your feel of the word you need to open up the word for yourself so that God can reveal to you what he is saying through the text and how it relates to your life people are so lazy that you want everybody else to do the work of your salvation aside from you and look where it has gotten us no. You delusional and you have set in the company of people who are delusional and you've accepted it. And at one point in time, you knew that they were delusional. Now you've been so accepting and so accommodating that you are delusional and you don't know it. And that is, I will tell you, the danger of not speaking up, not speaking out when wrong is being done. You become a part of the same system that you once saw was wrong. But you, you have to understand the mind. You have to understand how we operate. You can't continue to see something wrong being done and then trick your, your psyche, trick your, trick your spirit, trick the, the inner workings of yourself to say, don't worry about that. What you saw wasn't right. Keep doing this. It does not work like that. So the moment you see someone being delusional, the moment you see someone being doing wrong and you continue to go along with it, just know that you are seeing your future. You're seeing you make you're you're creating for your mind a blueprint of what you want it to do. It's no wonder you go into workplaces and everybody's delusional. Everybody's delusional. Families be the worst ones. Y'all all delusional. You're all delusional. At one point, you this is the point that I, I I sit back and I say, man, I was I was there too. I too was delusional. But at some point in time, you have got to stand up and get out lest you become a part of the same delusional system. You do realize that, right? And I know that it's I have been in situations where it was very hard to speak up. OK, you guys know I went to the military, right? Do you think that's an environment where you can see people are delusional and see people doing things wrong and speak up? No, you cannot. But somehow, some way, by the grace of God. I still was able to stick to what I know. I didn't participate in any of that foolishness. I didn't participate in the degrading of anyone. But you think that wasn't hard? But some of you guys don't even have a, you're not grounded. You're not grounded in the things of God. And there's no way that you're going to be able to withstand some of the things that are going to come up. I remember, I've been telling you guys fast and pray. And I really understand that this is a total foreign concept to most people. Even people who say that they love the Lord you won't find a group of those people. I don't know how, I don't know how you never open your Bible and you say you love the Lord. Um, I don't know how it has happened, but it has happened. Um, some of those same group of people who have been in the church girl for decades plus have never even fasted. Um, I don't know how it has happened yet. It has happened. And because it has happened, I want to just, I want to, I, I would say be nice, but being nice has gotten us absolutely nowhere. I just want to tell you that there is another way to go about doing things. Now, you I know at the top of the year, girl, everybody's church is going to be doing a Daniel fast or whatever else. And to be honest with you, back in, I believe it was 2014, maybe 2015. Nope, it was 2014. 2014. I went on a Daniel fast with the church. It was the first time I had ever heard of fasting. Um, I did have people in my family who went to church. And when I think about it now, I said, you know, I'm going to leave that alone. But I never heard of fasting. Okay, when I heard of fasting, it was like intermittent fasting. It was like that. So this was a totally new concept for me. Um, and I believe because the Lord knew that it was a new concept for me, there was grace given to me because it was a new, it was totally foreign. I went on the Daniel fast with the church and it was life changing for me in that I had never been so disciplined for any length of time, whether it be a day or otherwise, you know, the fast was 21 days. 
I'm going to go ahead and say I didn't do 21 days because I just didn't know how this would go about. Okay. Um, I'll say that. I remember the pastor having like this book, which I think I've since thrown away the book, but I did a video for you guys like a long time ago where I showed you the book. It was like a binder. And this binder had all of the points of the prayers that you need to pray and all of this kind of stuff. And I thought, man, this is amazing. Not only have I never heard of this, but I don't quite understand um, the principle of the principles of it all. And so I went along with the fast that way. I didn't necessarily participate like with the church altogether. I just read the book and that really helped me. And like I said, from that fast was how I knew that I would get married. From that fast was even how I knew that I would have Kennedy before I had a man or any candidates. Okay, before I was even living right. Okay, I knew that I would have a baby girl and that was Kennedy. And it was from that fast. So from that point, I knew that fasting worked, not because of what anybody said, but simply because of what I experienced. I realized that some of you have not experienced that. Some of you are struggling with things that have been in your family since your family exists, and you really don't know how to dismantle it. And I can sit here and give you bullet point after bullet point, but at the end of the day, I'm not God. And at the end of the day, these people who you're following, they're not God either. And they're not the one who can truly break the struggle stronghold from your life do you understand that you understand that right I I hope that you understand that by now that you've been bamboozled you've been tricked these people are not God and therefore they can't really help you there are certain people who God has given the grace to be able to explain certain things to so that he can help you help yourself okay you know so y'all can do this together but I'm not God Okay. And I do realize that I have been giving, um, that grace to be able to teach people in that way. Tens me where you're going with this. I have for you, and it's going to be free. So don't think I'm trying to sell you nothing. I try to, I'm like, you know what? Some of y'all need to pay for stuff. And some of y'all actually do need to pay for stuff. I have little stories on the website. Like I said, it's $2 or it's going to be free. That's just how I'm rolling. Don't ask no questions. That's just how it is. I'm not trying to get rich. I'm not trying to live in a mansion. I'm not trying to sell books. I'm not trying to do any of that. I am literally trying to lead you to Christ. And some of you guys lack the discipline necessary to really be a follower of Christ because you're going to have to be disciplined. Some of you guys lack that. Some of you guys lack even the integrity some of you just are lacking all around, just lacking. And I don't know how to help some of y'all. I don't know how to help some of you. Um, because I've just never been a person who you could just say anything to. And I just, it just, you'd be blocked. Okay. And I don't know, I don't know how to help some of y'all. With that being said, I do know how to help others. And some of you guys learn just like me, but you haven't found someone to give you the information for free or otherwise. Okay. A lot of people out here just trying to make money. And I realize I don't want to have any parts. Is this, this has taken me a while to be able to put all this stuff together for you, but I'm going to put it together. It's going to be on the website. By the time you see this video, you'll be able to go on the website and download this for free. And I want to talk to you a bit. Like I said, I, from that point, when I did that 21 day Daniel fast, I began fasting one, because I didn't have any money um, and I couldn't really buy a lot of food. So I just started going fasting. And I will tell you that the reason why the, the ultimate place that I got to where I was able to hear from God, as it relates to when my son needed to move with me, I was able to hear from God as to who should I marry? Who should I stay away from? All of these things came about because I was fasting. I wasn't broadcasting it out to people. Hey, I'm on a fast because the word simply says, don't do that. I'll have all those things for you in. You'll have, you'll be able to read all of that stuff. Okay. But you're going to have to start somewhere. And I thought about doing it like a live fast, but I don't want you to follow me. I really don't like some of you guys, first of all, are so berserk and bizarre that you make me step out of order by telling you about yourself. So I don't want you to follow me anyway, but I don't have anything for you. You realize that, right? And I'm the one, I'm one of the ones who's being bold and tell you, I don't have anything for, we don't need to do no live fast all together. You know why? Because I don't have nothing for you. There's nothing that you can't do by yourself that you're going to be able to do with me, period. And a lot of people are getting on here broadcasting these live fast and otherwise, you know why? Because YouTube's paying the money because YouTube's paying the money. And therefore they want you to be live on these fasts with them all day long. And every day you're coming back to do a live fast and you're not getting anything out of it except chuckles and a good time. 
but you're not spending that you're not spending that time with you and God for him to really reveal to you, to give you revelation about things. You're just having a good time. And you think that you spending time with God was you on the live with this other person in their fast. Could you imagine that? Imagine it because it's happening. And I just made up in my mind, I don't want, I don't want you following me. I really, I don't want you following me. I do want you, however, to have the information, which is why this is going to be available for you. And let's see. I don't know how many days. This is This is not just something I just pulled out of my butt, right? Um, excuse me for that. <laughs> this is not something that I just pulled out of my butt. It is stuff that I have actually done. Like, I actually followed this plan myself. And I followed this plan with someone else who had never fasted before. And I watched their life transform. So, this is all scripture. You're going to have scripture inside a plan. What I want you to do and what I want you to begin to do, not even just as relate to this, but anyway, when someone mentions something to you that they say is in scripture, go and read the scripture. And don't just go in there and read the little line that says the thing that you want to hear. Absolutely not. Go in and read the full chapter. And you can go off, you can go beyond reading the full chapter. You know what you can do? If that chapter makes references to something else or someone else in the scripture that you don't, that you never read, that you don't know nothing about, you go on your little search bar and you find this, who are they, who they're talking about. And you go and read that chapter as well. This is how you grow in relationship with God. This is how you grow in relationship with his word and growing in relationship with his word helps you to grow with him because it, it shows you his character. A lot of people talking about they hear from God, baby, and they never open their Bible, and it's very confusing. A lot of people talking about they hear from God, and they've never even fasted. So, what spirit? What, what spirit are you are you hearing from? I'm totally confused. And because it sounds good, you're going along with it, and it's very dangerous. Okay, so this won't be any live fast. All this stuff will be available on the website. Um, I'm not getting paid for, so you just say what you want to say. I really just want you to have the information, like I said, because I realize some people just simply don't have the money. Some of you guys don't even don't know, don't believe that it were, would really work. Therefore, you don't want to pay for it. And that's an issue all in itself because you pay for everything else. You pay for every weight loss pill, every weight loss gimmick that there is, and none of it has worked for you. Yet you keep going back and giving you your money to these people. But when we talk about the things of God, you don't want to do that kind of trial and error. And that's on you. That's your business. That's your business. It's That's not my business. Um, but it is my business to give this information. Again, I say I'm not God. You know, I have to reiterate that I'm not God. Um, I'm also not some kind of grammar expert, anything like that. Um, I'm writing this stuff like I want to write it. I'm not sticking to any criteria as far, far as, oh, you need to put a period there. You need to put a comma there. If you can't understand what it is that I've written, perhaps you need to find someone else. It's really, it's that simple. Okay, maybe you need to find someone who charged you $500 for information that they got. But it's not me, okay? It's not me. I'm sick of it. Can't you tell? You can tell I'm sick of it. Um, Happy New Year, by the way. But I am sick of it. I'm sick. I'm sick of it. And we have a lot to talk about. Um, And not much of it is like, not much of it is laced with flowers. But like I said, I understand that some of you guys don't even have the basis of truth the basis and some of these things really can't be taught by human intellect you met one of those people before they know so much and know nothing at all some of this stuff can't be taught by human intellect some of this stuff can't be taught by a human mouth it has to be revealed to your spirit by the holy spirit I'm not so smart. I'm not so wise. This is how I got this information. It was revealed to my spirit by the Holy Spirit through prayer, through fasting, through relationship, through reading the word. And I'm going to go off and say that back in 2014, 2015, I wasn't even into reading the word like I am now. I could only imagine how much more revelation, how much more wisdom, how much more understanding of the things of God I would have come into, but no one made it known to me that reading the word is an essential part of you growing in relation with God. You think you're a prophet, you think you're hearing from God, but you've never read the word. You're not hearing from God. I said it. I said it. And, and let me, let me not, let me not be so mean to you. It's nice. You're not here from God says you're confused. 
And a lot of what you might be hearing very well might be laced with a lot of deception because you don't have any basis of truth to go off of whatever. And some of you guys are literally, you flip on this YouTube every single day waiting for someone to give you a word via of some false spirit. And you're coming back every single day like it's some sort of like horoscope or something. It's the weirdest thing ever. But you don't really want to be in relationship with the guy who can give you the word. Girl, as soon as you open your eyes in the morning, you, you don't even have to wait till the morning time. As soon as you close your eyes at night, you can get a dream or vision with the exact thing that you keep on searching for via other people. And you'll never get to those kind of truths if you never seek out the Lord for yourself, okay? Um... So, yes, I want to give you this plan. Like I said, this is very, like, it's in-depth. It's easy to follow. Of course, it's going to be it's going to be real like I wrote it. And if you read any other things like I wrote it, like, I'm not, I just do my own thing, okay? Like I said, these are not my, these are not my own words. This is stuff that I made up. There's a lot of scripture. So, you're going to have to do a lot of reading. Remember what I said, reading the full chapters, don't you go in here and do this plan and think this is some journal entry class where you're just doing a bunch of writing points. Don't do that. Don't just do the writing points. You need to learn. You need to read. Okay? You read everything else. All the gossip news, you got all that stuff floating around in your head and you wonder why you confused. You need to read. And I will go off to say, there's another portion. So there's one that's going to be like the bullet point like the day-to-day what you need to do for the fast all the things you need to read and all that kind of stuff and then before that it's already on the website right now as a matter of fact it's just some things that I buy for food the things that I eat you don't have to stick to that that's not biblical okay that's my opinion the certain things that I eat um fasting can be there's so many people um fasting can be um dangerous and I'm saying that as in go with me here i'm not a doctor however fasting can be dangerous if you go from eating everything you want to eat to not eating nothing like you don't eat anything and then you you don't eat anything for let's say 10 days and then you start eating again there can be a problem i remember when i did the daniel fast there was actually a lady um that the pastor told us about who passed away because she went from eating nothing to eating something okay and she didn't do the the natural protocol was like eat light foods and soups and things like that and her stomach bloated and she passed away so when when you read the plan like you need to be wise I'm not a doctor but even above the doctor the doctor still is not God so I like the plan where you eat a little in the morning and then you take the whole day and do fasting and then you eat again at the end because it lessens the blow as far as like you not eat nothing and then reintroducing food it just lessens the blow okay I'm like I said I'm not a doctor however it makes sense it um it just it just makes sense. I wouldn't say be eating junk food like pizzas and things like that. However, you can if that's what you want to do. You can if that's what you want to do. I'm just saying. This is not about this is not about some eating plan to make you lose weight. If you're going in with that mindset, you need to just wait till you hit rock bottom and then come back with a new mindset cuz that's not it. If you're doing this to lose weight, you're already you're on the wrong you're going into it with the wrong mindset. So I don't want you to focus so much on the food that you can and cannot eat and all that kind of stuff. The thing that you need to be focused on is when you're not eating, are you replacing the food with the word of God? Are you replacing the food, the time that you eat all day long? Okay, every time I, every time they see you, I would say I see you, but I don't see you. Every time they see you, you got a snack at your mouth. And if you're that person who you just eat, 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 eat all day long, you need to be replacing that with praise, with worship, with prayer, with spending time with God. That's what fasting is. So those of you who just eat all day long, you should really have yourself a good time. It might be very hard for you, especially if you just, like, like I say, you just, everything your flesh want, you just, that's you. You should have the most life-changing experience. Okay? You actually should. So, and without me rambling on, I just kind of want to give you this information, to give you this plan. At the end of the day, when I leave this earth, I want it to be known, like, I want it to be known, I want it to be said that I did what I was supposed to do, and I wasn't trying to calm people out of their money, which is happening. It's happening a lot. I have no parts.
okay? That's all I'm gonna say about it. Um, let me roll some of these other clips, girl. As always, if you have a question, ask a question. Let's roll some of the other clips. I'll see you in the next video. I don't know how this is going to end. I don't know how this video is going to go. But I love you guys. Go check out the website. I want you to be serious about your salvation. I want you to be serious, not just about your salvation, but about the fact that you're actually going to be judged for the way that you live. You lived this life, you know, outside of you going to the store and buying presents and being the best friend to this person and being the best this to that person and being the star on your job, that you're actually going to be judged. Did you actually do the thing that God sent you here to do? You you actually are going to be judged for that. I want you to get serious about that because no man knows the day and no man knows the hour.